Hello students, today we are going to learn about the chapter 4 that is permeability of soils and seepage analysis. Coming to the first topic, it deals with the ground water flow, water table and types of aquifers. What do you mean by ground water? Ground water is the water which is found underground in the cracks and also the spaces which are formed in soil, sand and rock. They are stored in and move slowly to the geological formations of soil, sand and rocks which are known as aquifers. So, the concepts like water flow, aquifer, soil water, capillary etc. are needed to be understand for the groundwater flow. So, this is what the ground, uh, ground table or the water table looks like. See, here the surface, this is a surface. Here this is a, a level of water in the well and this is nothing but a gravity well. So, this is a perched water. This is a perched water table. This is a soil and below the perched water table, uh, water there is a level which is known as water table. Underneath it is subsurface or it is also known as fracture lock and there is an unconfirmed groundwater and this is a zone of saturation and this is nothing but a bedrock. What do you mean by water table? Due to the natural phenomenon of weathering of rocks, generally the land surface is covered by very loose soil. Since the effect of weathering due to disintegration and deposition, decrease, it decreases gradually with the depth. A fracture one of rocks which exists below the soil zone. So, below this fractured zone, there occurs a bedrock which is very free from fractures. So, there is a vertical section which is consisting a loose soil or on the top, fractured rock in the middle and compact bedrock at the bottom. This is generally encountered in any given area, more so in a hard rock terrain. Hence, when the rainfall occurs in any region, an appreciable percentage of water not used by plants or not evaporated into the atmosphere, they, they are not held by any soil moisture. They move downwards through the fractures which are under the influence of gravity until they reach the bedrock. Then all the openings lying above the bedrock will just begin to be filled up by the percolated water. So, thus this percolation that is nothing but the uh, downward seepage of the water of rainwater leads to the development of the zone of saturation which is above the bedrock in which all the openings are filled with the water. Such water is groundwater in the true sense. The upper surface of this zone of saturation is known as water table which is shown in the figure above. So, above the zone of saturation and below the ground uh, water surface, there is a zone of aeration in which water fills only a portion of the pore space. Let us come and learn about aquifers and its types. What do you mean by aquifer? An aquifer is an underground layer of water which is bearing permeable rock and rock features are consolidated material like gravel, sand or silt. Based on the groundwater container, the aquifers are divided into two types, unconfined aquifer, confined aquifer. What do you mean by unconfined aquifer? They do not have any impermeable beds above them and the water table is under the atmospheric pressure only. So, depending on whether the water is tapped from the aquifer or recharged into such an aquifer, so the water table will fall or uniformly throughout the rock wells dug in such an aquifer will have the water level equal to the level of water table is shown in the earlier figure we have already seen. Such wells are described as gravity wells or they are also known as unconfined wells. What do you mean by confined aquifer? This looks like this. There is This is a confined groundwater. It is sandwiched between the shale and the shale. So, uh, that is nothing but a fraction overlying impermeable rock. There is a ground surface. This is known as the uh, Asian spring. Uh, here, it is artesian well which is non-flowing. So, there is also a pressure surface or piezometric surface. Here comes a water table. So, confined aquifers are also known as artesian aquifers. These are some of the requirements like an aquifer should be sandwiched between two impermeable formations like shale and shale. 
in the above figure. Such an aquifer should have suitable structural conditions so that the confined water occurs in it and there will be some hydrostatic pressure. So, the aquifer should outcrop on the surface at a higher level because it serves as a catchment area and also it facilitates percolation of rain water through it. In this preceding setup, if there, if there is any overlying impermeable formation punctured depending on the surface height at that point and the level of pressure surface of the groundwater which is existing. Thank you.